Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Dombro and in today's video I have a simple method on how to basically boost your whole GTA 5 game um, on a low PC if you struggle with FPS and you like to run the game smoothly. Now I am using an Alienware Alpha i5 version. Basically it's a gaming console slash PC thing, right? It's tiny and it's packed with good stuff and it's pretty cheap. I paid five hundred and forty pounds UK so I guess that's good and it's all pre-built and basically jam-packed full of the necessary things to play games I guess um, as you see a second ago that was my settings if you didn't see that just quickly go back pause it and you'll see my settings I will leave a download for the FPS booster that I'm using and also my settings file um, so you guys could probably run this um, I'll leave the system specs of my Alienware Alpha in the description as well below so you can check them out and compare them to your PC I guess it should run pretty nicely um, as long as you have a a pretty standard PC gaming PC whatever um, currently I did record this twice already um, I had the Steam uh, FPS show county on the top right but the software that I used to record blurred it out and then that didn't work so I tried using the one that's built into the software for shadow play which what I used to record um, and still it didn't show in the game so I turn on the one using menu but you can't really see it a hundred percent but it is there now you can see it and it will be there on the next video straight away um, I didn't know that it wouldn't record the, the actual FPS which was kind of annoying because it made me do it all again. I tried to keep the same route um, on both clips. This is just like a stress test. This is um, without the FPS boost on. So I was running about 30 to 50 FPS and it was a bit patchy. It took forever to load shit and it, it was just not very good. It's not up to standard and if you're playing with mods um, like I've got a shitload of mods on. I've got Hulk mods, texture mods, bike mods. I've got all sorts on just from just installing packages from OpenIV and testing loads of good shit because all I do is play on single player on PC. Um, so I've just literally just been going crazy with mods and it's so much fun. I'm not kidding. That's why I made this video so you guys can have as much fun as me. Um, and I hope this helps basically. This is... Um, like I said, without the FPS boost, it just you can't play with the mods good enough without having some sort of thing to boost your game. Like it stutters and jumps around, and it's just not very good. It's not smooth. If you're flying or going super speed, the map disappears. Shit gets glitchy. You start freezing and stopping and bugging, and it's just shit. You see all these crazy YouTubers with their super high-end PCs running all these crazy mods, and I mean like it's good and all but they've paid shitloads for their PCs and it's probably all sponsored stuff that they got sent anyway so this is to help your I don't know Christmas present if you got a gaming PC for your Christmas this will help boost your game I mean I I love this I love this game I love this um, this little PC is absolutely amazing it's literally the size of a Wii um, absolutely tiny and it's full of power so it's great and for 540 pounds that's just perfect for me um, so in a minute we'll be coming up with the FPS boosted version and instantly you will see how much more power and like perfectness comes from having that small FPS boost and it's really really easy to do literally you just drag the file onto your desktop if you use my settings file just put that in your documents um, if you know where to go I'll I'll put a little thing in the description or the download where you can um, basically uh, it'll tell you where to put the settings file but anyway you literally just put the dot bat file onto your desktop and you literally just double click it it will start GTA and once the GTA screen gets to the sirens and the rockstar logo you just click any key on your keyboard um, and it will basically just boost all the game and put your game as a high priority so everything else is just turned off that runs in the background and is really processy um, so it will just turn them all off and run smooth 
um, like I said I've tried to make this as as easy as possible and try to run the same line to make sure it's like legit and you can see the difference but average I boosted about 20 FPS straight away I mean this is sat at 31 to 30 the whole time as soon as I put the FPS boost on it was just instantly 50 plus each time and it was so much smoother no no glitching and stopping and lagging and buffing it was just it was just clean gameplay and I was absolutely buzzing so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did enjoy this video leave a like down below guys it helps my channel greatly if you are new feel free to subscribe guys and have a wonderful rest of your day i hope this helps and peace